I'm Emilio Pesmino, and this is the Peacock Bass. It is a well-known fact that the waters of Florida are plagued with invaders. Fish from all over the world have now established their populations in the canals. They reproduce quickly and in large numbers, and they will aggressively eat anything in their path. They are a threat to the local species. However, there is one exotic fish that is actually fighting back against its fellow invaders. This is the peacock bass. In the 1980s, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission decided to release this fish into the canals of Florida after years of careful research. The reason being is that they will hunt other exotic fish that had already established their populations, like Mayan chiclets and Oscars and tilapia. So hopefully they reduce their population and stop their spread. This is one of the very few cases where a non-native species is doing more good than harm to an ecosystem. Coming from tropical waters, they can't tolerate the cold very well, preventing them from spreading any further north than South Florida. As you can see, they have a very pronounced dorsal ridge these spikes could cause a lot of harm to any predator who tries to get them from the top. They can also retract them, see? And then when they feel threatened, they lift them. Like that. They're called peacock bass because they have this characteristic ring on their tail fin. This is meant to look like another eye, so that predators will not know which is the head and which is the tail. What I find really cool about these fish is that bright orange color they have on their pectoral and pelvic fins. Look at that, so pretty. In Brazil, they are known as Tucunare, which in the native Indian Tupi language means friend of the tree. This is because they will often stay near submerged trees for protection and to hunt potential prey. They are diurnal and are frequently spotted hanging around the shores of canals. This, combined with their size and strength, and tendency to immediately go after bait has made them popular game fish. Even so, the FWC recommends that anglers let these fish go because of the role they're playing in the fight against invasive species. However, if you do decide to eat these fish, the meat is white and flaky and has a pretty good taste. We're gonna go put this awesome fish back into the water. Go eat those nasty tilapias. Bueno muchachos, till next time.